Okay, we're back. Um, yeah, I was getting a bit emotional there. Just really proud of Labitha, you know? What, she, what she's become. What she's done for us. You can't get too emotionally attached to certain heroes, though, because things can go south. She could be defeated. But uh, I'm really, really happy with how this has all panned out. <clears throat> the combination of Grand Elves and Resurrection with Expert Earth Magic and Expert Slow. Really, that's been the backbone of everything that we've done so far. So, today, at the end of today, my hope is that we'll be able to come down here and capture the fortress that's down here on day one without them having time to reinforce. And that will be orange, hopefully, right on the back foot. Um, just Vitamina, that undead army, is the next thing to worry about. She, though, went sailing off up here. And there's a necropolis through this gate here. Um, so we could see a really nasty necropolis army arrive here, but I have Town Portal, and I might have time to go around Town Portaling around to get reinforcements before that actual fight happens. So fingers crossed, we'll see what Orange has to offer. Um, I had thought maybe about trying to consolidate here, because we have Galar holding energy elementals, maybe we could do this. I thought about even Garden of Life, but I don't think I want to start building up Pixies again. Um, City Hall has to wait until I can afford it. So I'm going to do this, I've invested now in water and fire, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see. Let's just see. Here comes red. There's a green hero poked his head out. Orange is now back in the sand area. Ooh, so I'll deal with this first. Nagash now has a pathetic army. Two explorers sent into an area they've already been to, so this suggests Orange is running out of ideas. Very, very encouraging. Green stuck his head. She would be he Thane would be kind of scary if he were to dimension door over or whatever, but we've seen him. He killed we know what level he is, he's not very high level. There's no way any of these are that's right there. There's no one in it. So it's not about trying to capture, it's about just capturing. <laughs> Spell power is good at this point because we will start wanting we will be wanting to start implosion um, pretty promptly. There's three mighty gorgons here. She goes to the cage of warlords, and therein we learn extra defensive skills. <laughs> Not that we needed them <laughs> with the sentinel shield. <laughs> oh my word. And you can see this is a key advantage of being the player. And there's no way to change this actually in the setup of the game, at least in the vanilla game. Maybe there is in the uh, Wake of Gods sort of scripts or expansions and stuff. You are the first person to act each day. You're always team the first team to act. What that means is on day one, you can snipe. You can you can you can pounce on the AI, grab all of them. If in theory I could buy all these right now. Okay, now, if I was, if there was a one in front of this, I probably would do that. Um, but anyway, yeah, just to say, this is quite hard to get the mighty gorgons. It's it's quite expensive to upgrade that to get that. Um, I thought or it's saying that's weird. It's showing me the cost. The reason it's expensive is you need this first. You need a resource silo before you can build the gorgon land. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this is a really well-developed town, obviously. Um, so long as we aren't under any, under any pressure, we can always town portal back to the Conflux. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to buy any of those troops, at least not with her. And we're going to go for... yeah, this is all connected by road, so... Come to here, okay. So they're in massive trouble now. Don't think I want to waste that's two moves to get to that. I don't think I'm going to waste my time on that. 
could be another town down around here. So I could just stand here and threaten them with extermination. Nagash can't get back to here today, I don't think. So yeah, I'm happy to actually just do some exploring. What is that? Cyclops Cave. Okay, so there's a stronghold down here. That hasn't been conquered? I should have just maybe gone for the observatory. I didn't actually see that there. I think that makes the most sense, right? If Nagash somehow manages to get up here with a while carrying Walking Dead around, it's very unlikely. So I'm minded to just stay in this area with Labitha now. Can always town portal. She's in just such a strong position. Do this, stay in the area. I need to defend against gr that green hero. I don't know what that what she's bringing. But I'd like to stay out as long as possible, obviously. Do this. Some of the easier things. There's free money there. Free money in Mercury. I could just go get that now. Yeah, why not? Let's get the money. 600 bucks. Why the AI didn't look there? Goodness knows. We have free imps to avail ourselves of as well, just for the fun of that. Okay, this all triggered. Who needs to get a move on? Come to here. I don't know if I'm actually going to buy them though today. <coughs> yeah, probably the key question is now Galar and just managing the risk from her. She comes galloping over to challenge him with a big army. Could get quite hairy. Will it work? Will I just throw my elementals away for no good reason? Let's find out. I like to leave the animations at default speed. Most other people I've seen online playing the game have everything at maximum speed and the creatures just go sort of flip from one end of the field to the other. Um, but yeah, I, something about it I just prefer. Um, yeah, so I'll kill this one. And then if I go here, there's no point doing that, is there? Just don't want to lose one, that's all. Willing to spend a little bit of mana. Not blind, of course. 84 points of damage should be enough to stop. To stop me losing one? Yep. Should be fine. Okay, excuse me, I'm just drinking my tea here. Here we go. 316 experience, I think that's fair. Leadership's probably not really his thing. Elementals. Alright, so I have no idea. I don't. This could be suicide. So I'm going first. They have speed 8, these have speed 6. Okay, cool. So what I'm thinking is forgetfulness and I just go around the map. <laughs> uh, how far can you get with 7? Not very far. Okay, so I go here. They all just start walking now. How many did I kill? I only killed two. Okay, I'm gonna lose one or two here, I think, unless I use spells. And how good is forgetfulness? Fantastic. <sighs> uh, I could bless them. Four to six, yeah. Can't clone. Mirth's not interesting. 
blind is there. 157 damage would kill two. Less weakness is an option. Let's have a look at what weakness is going to do. Attack skill 15. Minus six to, to attack power. Might be better just to bless, right? Still haven't lost him yet. When am I replenishing spell points? Might be a while. Is that a thing? How much damage does it do? 115. So 230. So I'll kill one from each sack. torn here. Not sure how much of a premium to put on um, my spell points. Could just do Ice Bolt. That kills two. So I can run away here, Ice Bolt. They all walk up to me and then make a decision next turn. Seems alright. I don't love it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see. Can he walk up and actually attack me? Yes, good. Okay, I'm actually happy with that, uh, like in terms of the way that the rules work, because it would just be way too good, right? If a forgetful unit, all it could do is walk up to you and then wait until its next turn. Um, so same formula again, seems fine. Six, yep. Yeah. So bolt you to two. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think we're fine here. The guy with four can't reach us, the other guy comes up and gets killed in retaliation. And then on the last turn, it's Ice Bolt into Alpha Strike. So they took seven extra damage, I wonder what that means exactly. Got some experience. I have that. Someone has that. Guess who? Right, so remember that. Levita has the ring of vitality. Um, is it better for me to go underground and keep moving? No, okay, well, I might leave them there actually, because that's giving me a bit of protection plus. Oh, forgetfulness would be hilarious here. <laughs> it's for the win, man. Forgetfulness, I swear to God. Alright, okay, he can stay there. We'll see what happens. These guys can't be killed in one turn, so I don't need to worry about splitting them up and stuff. Um, right, what needs to be bought? We don't know if there's another orange hero floating around here. So something to just dissuade shenanigans. These things I kind of love buying. Because um, they're just so tanky. Health 70 is just really soft for a tier 5 unit. Health 70. Wait, am I overreacting? I don't think I am. Like, it's really solid, right? I mean, I'm happy to buy these and just have them sit there behind the walls for now until I'm ready to make a decision. A solid, solid unit. Um, but let's say I lose the town and they buy all the stuff in it. I'm just not that. I'm not going to be that sad.
Okay, so that's that decision made. I love that music, the fortress music. So dramatic. Well, we're not under any immediate threat at the conflux. We could wait to buy a lot of these things. You know what I mean? Like, in order to collect these troops, we're town portaling. Oh, which, by the way, has she given... She hasn't had a chance to give the town portal scroll to someone else. Don't think anyone else knows Earth Magic well enough. He doesn't know it at all. This guy is level 3 basic scholar. Yeah, I never really... I probably should have got someone else started on Earth Magic. If I, don't know, I can't remember if I had an opportunity to. He can just go shopping. He can go off and get started on the shopping spree. Right? Because he has to do the loins. So why don't we send him up to get the unicorns. But there's no rush with this, I don't think. Um... Come back up, get the gold from the water wheel. Yeah, it's surprising that in this environment of frozen arctic conditions that the water wheel would actually be spinning. Generating revenue. Whatever the energy from the movement of the wheel is used for. Surely doesn't work, but anyway. So he did his job, he could come here and get this cracking. We've well and truly abandoned the idea of Earth Elementals, I think, right? There's no hero that's going to want them. Yeah. So we're kind of banking here a little bit. We're ready to hire wherever is needed. I still think there's a chance Red could really surprise us and just show up Dimension Door over to our base and put us in a tough spot. Hire everything. <laughs> Take the complex office, hire everything. Stuff like that can happen in the late game where you're just like, Ooh, you know, you're just blown away and then let's say I lose this conflux, how do I get back to it to recapture it? It's really hard. It's like <laughs> I'd have to go back to the rampart and gallop all the way across the underground. I'd have to gallop from here all the way down to here. Where is it? Down to here. <laughs> from there. That's how I'd get that's how I'd have to get back. It would take me a whole day and a half to get back to try to recapture it. Um, but sometimes what the AI will do is they'll dimension door over and then they'll gallop around flagging your wood and stuff. And that will give you time. If you're a town portal hero, it'll give you time to get back. Um, they don't tend to snipe as well as humans, you know, the human player would. Um, and I'm minded here to take the... There is a castle here, so... Although that is expensive. Do this just to make life difficult for anyone who does show up. Um, it's easy enough to upgrade the energy, to get the energy elementals when the time comes. And I'm also kind of half leaning towards the city hall now. These guys will probably just run away from Labitha. Okay. Red, here's Tan. Haven't seen you for a while. Ooh, you're going that way. Oh, you're trying to get the Inferno back, are you? Well, well, well. That didn't even occur to me. Look how close she was. Oh, Gretchen. Gretchen, Gretchen, Gretchen. What is this nonsense? And still the few skeletons ruining your morale, like troops of three alignments, including undead, like for a, like you've got two skeletons. Ah, and it's just gonna make. I mean, she's gonna die anyway, right? I can town portal gallop out of here, murder her, portal back to the fortress. 
do this first. I could even do this first. Who are you? How much movement do I lose? A lot. Okay. See distant lands. Okay, there's a stronghold down here. I have a feeling no one has claimed. Why haven't they claimed this? If they've claimed the stronghold, why haven't they also claimed the stuff? Strange. Okay, I think we've got to do it. Um, do a bit of this, bit of that. So the gold dragons, red has gold dragons. After these two are dead, I could hire a hero here to start doing all the stuff, exploring all this, blah, blah, blah. Or I could use this guy to do it. Right, he can go to here, use the blue portal, use the green portal, come down to the fortress. He's a slimy, he's a slimy sausage himself, so he'll have a good time tromping around the swamp. Even though he's a dungeon guy, right? He's not actually a fortress guy. Yeah. What's happening? This isn't really worth a hero, these three things. To just stand here and do this. Not really. That as well, but... It's not really worth it. Now I control the portals, I can just bring... Still doesn't know any spells yet. <laughs> uh, dear, oh dear. I think I've got to do this. Shackles on. Don't lose too much movement, see that's a lot of movement you just used. So I'm going to let that other little ranger girl with no army, I'm going to let her live. Nagash just has an annoying level of spell points as well, so... It never fails. Yep. Nice bolt, but it's even stupider than haste. Wait. No, no, no. Everyone's waiting. Didn't you get the memo? Ooh, that could have been annoying if he'd... I forgot about that. Like, I could have moved the unicorns to there, kind of thing, to just stop him getting a death cloud, but... He wouldn't have killed anything anyway, I don't think. Um, yeah, so we'll just space ourselves out a little bit here. It's probably going to kill them. For strike on turn two. Phoenixes can just kill them. I've got so many. What's got the most HP? It's 180. 240. That's pretty high HP. Oh, that's probably got the most. Yeah, it's got about 700 and something. Just get stuck into them. Feel bad. These guys, I guess. Does about a hundred and something damage. Just kill this dragon. Oh, man. Sometimes when you have such an ascendancy over your opponent, it's almost embarrassing. You can be the most unlucky phoenix in the history of phoenixes. Oh, don't forget Resurrection. Yeah, old Nagash isn't going to get another turn, I don't think. No! <laughs> I didn't think that was a kill! Ah, oh, how good is four magic elementals? I just lost eight elves. Ah, oh, I feel so stupid. Really wanting me to be an air mage. 
Sorcery seems okay with implosion. Ah, ooh, that's annoying. I don't like losing elves. Labitha prides herself on not losing elves. It's what she does. Right, town portal to the inferno. Gallop out here and kill this. Eventually, red is going to come and surprise me. I just know it. I can't do anything about that though. I've got to do. I've got to do with what I do. What I can with what I've got on the board as it stands. Long way to go for unicorns, isn't it? Candent. Gotcha. Yo! Just. How good a call was that? Oof. Sorry, but I'm quite proud of myself there for figuring out that I couldn't kill that ranger. I feel quite like, I feel like that's worth, um... Sorry, I've probably come across as a bit conceited there, but uh, rather proud of myself figuring that out. Don't need any, any Inferno or any other stuff before I ride out. Don't think so. Shackles are on. Gretchen. Ooh. Gretchen, another one of these mediocre. Alright, same old formula. Slow. Do I care what gets hasted? No. Wait with everything. Cerberus, you're first. Have you waited? Okay. Oh, 50 Magogs actually hurts pretty hard. What? Taking a bit of damage here. Don't like that. Just walk out. Dear, oh dear. Um, should I just leave this to the phoenixes to do fly and fly out? Maybe. Ooh, I didn't check the damage there. I should have. Um, come on out here. I guess I could kill these. See, this is the problem with Wolf Raid, is 10 HP. 10. For a level 2 unit. Like, they strike twice and they're really fast and everything. Decent skill. But health 10 means that they're just, they're goblins on wolves. You know, well, I suppose they literally are that, but they just don't do enough. Now they're dead. This whole stack is going to die to 10 unicorns. Seems. Yeah, they're just not that good. I don't know how many Magogs will die to the Phoenixes. That's the thing. I think it could be worth shooting them. My next turn, I just win. 400 damage, 350 damage. Okay, no, they need shot. Okay, all right. All right, so just kill these. Yeah, let's just wait and see what spell they cast. Run away. I assume you can't reach me. Right? No, one, two, three. Okay, cool. Wait. Wait. Yeah. I had all the time. I could have just resurrected before, and I just didn't. I thought, oh, I'll wait. Yeah, I'll let you cast a spell before I make any decisions. You're not going to cast a spell. 20 spell points, you're not going to do anything. Okay. 
I think you're probably dead now. No, I'm, I'm not going to be silly about it. Um, possibly screw this up again, is it? Unbelievable. Eight brave elves died needlessly. She'll carry that on her conscience, even though, regardless of all the other elves whose lives she's brought back. for green, that's really really bad. I could town portal again today, but she might use up all her movement and be stuck in wherever she lands, so well if that's the case let's go to somewhere safe and spend the night and recover, like the rampart. Pick up everything that's there, Alamar comes back with the stuff, not fast enough. <laughs> boom boom, yeah he's not fast enough, but she can pick up whatever's here a bit here to pick up. Spend the night in the Mage Guild. Yeah. Seems right to me. So she's out of moves. But who wouldn't want to spend the night in this lovely forest setting. Misty, cold rain outside, but you're snug and cosy in one of these little huts. What could be better? She deserves a night off, actually. She deserves to kick back, a cup of coffee, a cup of cocoa, actually. Go replenish those fallen brethren. Soak in that, you know, lovely sound of the forest. Should she buy a first aid tent? Will that just get in my way? Uh, first aid tents can sometimes be annoying, then get in the way, make it harder to defend. Harder to defend um, your archers if the tent is in the way. Don't know. Bad idea. Um, right, Valeska, you're doing your thing. Ba boom. Come on over. We're gonna do that this week as well. And get in the boat. It's probably more efficient to go here first and then leave. Yeah. So this is a decent army I'd be bringing over, right? Continue her investment. I regretted buying these Titans, but now that I've bought them, and given that the tower is under no threat whatsoever, four Titans, eight Nagas, she'd be a real pain in the backside down here. She'd be really useful and annoying. Looking to get heroes over that way. So I'm going to go for it. Red might punish us, but... worried that red is scaling away from us. Um, Kingdom army strength. Orange still has the strongest army, that's the undead army. And we're behind red on Kingdom army strength. Um, it's a bit scary. Tan is all but dead, but I'm interested to see what that army ends up looking like. Sorry, a thought dump here, but um, so I think this is what we do. These guys have to stay at home now. Um, 
Labitha can come and grab them though. Um, which she can do tomorrow once she's finished spending the night. So I must remember that. She's going to pay a visit to the tower. There's an opportunity for her to give Valeska some uh, artifacts. Right? Like that speculum could be useful. And the Ring of Life. She could give her that. Centaur's Axe. Oh no, I don't need the Centaur's Axe, right? Yeah, I don't need the Centaur's Axe. And I don't need... That's the Cape of Conjuring. So that would not work. So Valeska waits around for a day, is what we're saying. So I think we're okay. Buy the stuff. I want these more than I want the Naga, because I can't really explain why that is. So this is my army? It's a lot of money to drop, isn't it? That's what you call splashing the cash. any other income coming tomorrow, do I? No. These are cheap, but she's an expert archer. I just don't think you can say no, right? Feels kind of dumb. Not interested in these two. Your job can be to defend them. Labitha can buy you the cart and bring it out to you. How about that? Why don't we do it that way? Ooh, lots to work out. Lots to work out. Do this. I hope I'm not being reckless here. <laughs> hey, Bob, let's go. Hang on, to draw the string back. <gasps> Wait, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot how to use this thing. Do you know what to do? I don't know what to do. We'll just walk up to him instead. <laughs> now I'm a bit concerned. I don't think, yeah, health 14. I'm not going to actually be able to kill that many using the elementals. So I'm a little concerned here. Mm. I was hoping that I'd be able to s snipe in, snipe out kind of thing. What's next? Maybe Frost Ring does 115, so that won't kill that many. I'll kill quite a few of them. Waste nine spell points though. Expert curse would be good here. These guys, lizard men, hate curse and they love bless. Bless my guys. At the moment, I'm dealing, killing about ten of them. Oh no, it probably goes up to. Yeah, I do think he needs. He's gonna have to waste some mana to. I think I was a bit. Twenty four is not really enough of an army to truly dominate with, is it? I mean, how fast can you move, man? You can't get to me, no. I might kite because they might all group together. The AI won't avoid frostering now. I don't think. Yeah. It won't play around frostering. Frostering's not even that good though. Yeah, it's all mana though, isn't it? It's more mana than I wanted to spend. Sorry, you can't see my face. I'm leaning forward, like, kind of miserably going. Mm. At least we got a chance to cast frostering. 
no chance of you guys splitting up a bit. Oh, no, that's not good. Two, three. Yeah, you got there. Well, a morale flash was always on the cards. Oh, he did pathetic damage. That's good. I can fly away from you. You had defense too? No. Alright, let's finish these guys. Not casting a spell this turn, but that's okay. Don't want to waste. Hopefully, if I can just you obviously want to leverage these as much as possible. Yeah, so the lizard men really didn't hurt me anywhere near as much as I thought they would. Uh, he can't even get to me. They remembered. They remembered how to shoot. This is not good. They come here. Kill quite a lot of them. Soften them up a bit first. I think that's good enough. I think I probably will lose one elemental to the shots fired. That sucks that it's him first, but never mind. Still haven't lost one. Here's one. Down. Surely. Health left 11. Go you champion. How much did those archers do last time? 3 and 3? I think he's going to live. Live, damn you. Live. 2 damage. 2 damage, not enough. 7 left. You can do another 2 to me. Look at all these poor guys with their feet sticking up, like... Didn't know they'd be up against a tricky water mage. None! Tons of mana lost, though. Finally, oh my god. Okay, so that means he will eventually be able to learn... something. Uh, he has the intelligence. Yeah, take the spell pair. Oh, I forgot this was here. Sorry, I didn't even see that. That was there. I could have just wasted all my spell points, doesn't matter. Right, I actually thought these were connected, so there you go, That's that must be connected to this, which you get to via a completely different part of the map that's completely off limits to me at the moment. Okay, great. That's interesting. So a nice little mini game there. I have water elementals to bring back to you, I can do this. There you go, that's something. Plop them there. Come back out again because Labitha will want to land there tomorrow. And ta-da! And this always feels good when you have every hero exhausted at the end of the day. Everything's as it should be. Labitha's nice and safe. She's spending the night. Green has had another hero destroyed. Yeah. This is good. Got a plan for Valeska. She's going to take this army to red and see what happens. Almost as a tester. Even if she loses a big fight, that's okay. I don't mind trading this army if I can bloody their nose a little bit and reveal the fog and understand a bit more about what's happening with Red. As long as she escapes with all of her stuff and her life, obviously. That's probably the main thing. She can maybe slaughter Chan Chana on her way over here, although we don't have the shackles, but... And I think that's right. I think I want to keep the shackles with Valeska... Uh, not Valeska. Labitha. All right. Cool. Chana mucking around, goes there. This girl's useless. Hello, hello, hello. Just the person I wanted to see and in just the right location. Now it's on. This is the battle for the game. And let, well, subject to what red, how good red is. Labitha versus Vitamina. The ultimate showdown. Can she get there today? Has to teleport here, gallop up here. She absolutely can. I had wanted to send her O down here to mess with this and help Thingy out, Valeska out. I'm still going to do that, I think. She's in the rampart. She's picked up the creatures here. Right, so... Valeska's doing this. She's going to get in the boat, but she's going to come this way to get there. I'm hoping 
Labitha just goes boom and then town portal. Can it easily get to the boat? Yes, I can. Right. Jedi, what are we going to do with him? Go here. Go here and then go get the imps. Easy stuff first, easy stuff first. Galar, that'd be very easy. Um, comes to here. Hopefully he can just get away with trotting around here, having the time of his life. Easy stuff. Don't know what I'm doing with Shakti quite yet. I wanted to come this way. Probably still will. Right, okay, here we go. So the order of events is she goes to the tower. How many times can she portal in a day? How many times can an expert earth mage cast town portal? There is a limit, isn't there? I want to visit the tower. What are their names? I want to visit... Aya, Froizen, and then I want to hit Vlutch, Vlutchton, in that order, and then I want to gallop up and confront Vitamina for all the marbles. Oh man, the question is, should we Shackles? It's kind of like an all-in play, isn't it, if we Shackles? Can't really, there's no way to hedge if I'm wrong, so let's just go for it. It'll say no. So, starting with Aya, take you there. Now, she's here to pick up these and these. I'm not buying, I was going to buy some golems there just to be just to be on the safe side. Um, don't buy that yet because we are on our way to purchase these. Eight grand for four phoenixes feels like such a bargain. Such a good bargain. I want these. Yeah, so the budget really did work out to just about exactly right. 